Hello again everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. Well, I have been watching my business here lately and it has really been going well and I wanted to introduce something new um, and every month uh, kind of card kits for you guys. Uh, so the only thing that you have to do is order $25 in product this month. Today is the 24th of November and this will run until the 24th of December, so 30 days. You only have to purchase $25 in product, that's before any shipping and handling and taxes, and you will receive these two free card kits. This one was inspired by Connie Stewart, she's an absolutely fantastic demonstrator. And this one was inspired by um, Brandy's Cards, another absolutely fantastic demonstrator. These ladies are top-notch. So I case these from them. What I was trying to do is um, when I send you these card kits, because um, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'm not allowed, these are Stampin' Up! rules, to send you anything that has a stamp on it. Okay? So in the kit, you're going to get all the elements to put the card together, but you will have to have a, a sentiment. So I was trying to figure out how I could give you guys the most bang for your buck to where I can cut everything for you and mail it to you and the only thing you need is a sentiment. You can use any sentiment on either one of these cards. They are gorgeous. Um, so let's go over what you get in the kit. Let's look at this one first. Okay, this is beautiful, and I use the um, copper foil. I don't that might be coming out as gold, but is absolute copper foil, and then I use some gold glimmer here. And this is copper foil again. This stamp set is from um, the Star of Light. This I used from the Star of Light bundle in the holiday catalog, um, and uh, it's a bundle. You can get the uh, framelits and this stamp set. I've really gotten a lot of use out of both of these. Of course you can see and I really want to pass this gorgeous card on to you guys also. So here's what you get in the kit. Uh, remember I cannot stamp an image. Oh and you will need an envelope, you will need um, adhesive and um, let's see and that's it. Just the envelope, the adhesive and there are no stamped images included, okay? I'm going to put a host code. There was a host code at the beginning of this video, um, so you can run it back, copy that, or I'm going to put it at the end of the video also. You will, uh, when you place a $25 or more order, please use the host code so that um, you could be, I can send you these kits. So here's the first kit. And guys, bear with me. This is the very first time that I'm doing something like this. I've watched some videos and I've watched some other demonstrators do this. And I was like, I really want to do this for my customers. So, um, uh, you know, there is not a level. It's not like you get one card if you place this much or, you know, and this and that. It's just a flat thing. $25 or more, anything under $150 because at $150, Stampin' Up! takes over from there and you get rewards from there. Um, but um, anything between $25 and $150, you'll receive these two card kits. It's just, it's simple. It's very simple. I just want to give back to you for ordering from me. So in the kit, here you're going to get this beautiful element. I'm going to, I'm allowed to send um, die cuts. So I tried to do the best I could with die cuts and DSP so that you guys didn't have to have that much of an expense, you know, or you probably already have a stamp set that you can use and you're just going to enjoy putting the card together. So I'm going to send you this element right here. This one that is cut out right here, and this is silver glimmer paper. I don't know if you can see that, but that shines. And then this is also, this little star right here was cut out of the copper um, foil paper also. So in just a second, we're going to put this together, okay? And it's going to be packaged in this clear envelope, okay? And your shipping is free. There's no charge. I just send it to you to say thank you, okay? And um, let's see, now let's look at this other kit. This is very, very simple also. This kit will then have a piece of, um, this is cherry cobbler, 
and it's cut at 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. Both these cards are this are this dimension and open like this, like an easel, okay? Um, and then uh, you're going to get a piece of Whisper White, okay? And this piece is five by three and three quarter. And, um, and then uh, we're going to... I'm going to go over this when I put these together with you. And then uh, this is Early Espresso and three pieces of DSP and a very small piece of gold glimmer paper. Okay? So we're going to put this one together in just a second. Let's put this one together first. Okay? I absolutely love that um, copper paper. So... Let's start here. I have everything cut. We're going to start. You're going to get a piece of regular Whisper White cardstock. This is cut at 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. So it opens like that. Okay. Now, our first layer is get this over here on the white is our basic black right here. This is our first layer. It's cut at 5 by 3 and 3 quarter. And then the second layer is Whisper White. Get this picked up is Whisper White and it's cut at four and three quarter by three and a half. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is adhere this to the black because um, you want to stamp your sentiment on this card after you put your embellishment on it. So, this is the first step. First, you're going to I like using Tombow. It's inexpensive. You can use Snail. You can use whatever you like. Okay, and we're going to center this on the card. Or on the, ba I'm sorry, on the, on our base there of the basic black. And I know right now I'm black on black. It's hard for you to see there, but we're going to bring that card base in in just a second. Okay, so and then that's going to go just right on there. Isn't that going to be gorgeous? I love that outline of the black. Okay. So, let's go ahead and adhere our star right here. And I like the longer part at the bottom. And we want to put that in the middle. I'm going to use two dimensionals. Let's see where I've laid them at. Here they are. Remember, this is my new craft room, so I'm still kind of getting a little organized in here. But I really, really like it. I used one of the back bedrooms and turned it into my a really bigger craft room because my daughter moved into a house and um, took two beds that I had back here, two twin beds. And so all of a sudden I got all this room and I went, oh, that's a craft room. So, okay, this I'm centering it in the middle and this is popped up with two dimensionals. Now remember, you have to provide your own dimensionals, okay, and your own adhesive. Okay, so that's up with, with the dimensionals. Now, this little element right here that has the sparkles, the star with the sparkles, we're going to use a glue dot. This is very, very simple. I just take my little pokey tool, put it right there in the center over that hole. And again, the longer part at the bottom, and I'm just going to line that up and set that down. Isn't that adorable? Now, right there in the center, let's use another glue dot on the back of our other element here, our little star, and we're going to put that right over top of that little hole, and that just makes the nicest element for the card. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now we're going to take our, um, I used the basic black archival ink. Of course, you can use any black that you wanted to. Stays on, Memento, whatever you feel like using. And I went with the sentiment, may your seasons be peaceful and your new year be bright. Okay, and I'm going to put it right down in this corner. Now you understand kind of why um, I put the, ele the embellishment on there first. Because I want to make sure that I had enough room for my sentiment. And you don't have to use a sentiment. You could just do a Merry Christmas on the bottom, however that you'd like to do it. And you don't have to use black. Use another color. So I'm going to ink this up really, really well with my black archival ink. And then I'm going to come right over here. Straight down. And let that ink really soak in because I've got a little bit of thickness behind there. Beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Look how nice that came out, guys. 
That's awesome. Very crisp. All Stampin' Up! stamps are crisp. Okay, so we're almost done with our card. Right here, we're going to bring in our Whisper White. And I'm just going to use some Tombow on the back. Of course, you can use dimensionals, any kind of tape that you want to pop this back up. I'm just going to do it flat. Bring it right in here on our card. And we have a very nice white border to set off the black underneath um, this copper. I think that's a fantastic um, color combo. Okay, that's our first card. So that's the kit that you'll get with that. And like I said, the only thing you need is the stamped image and the adhesive and an envelope. Okay, let's bring in the second card. This is the one we're going to make now. Spread some Christmas cheer. I got this from the Tin of Tags, okay, uh, stamp set. Again, you can use any stamp set that you wish. Let's go ahead and bring in our card base. And again, it is a Cherry Cobbler. It's 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half, right there, okay. And we're going to bring in our Whisper White. This is the first layer. And it's at five by three and three quarter. We're going to put that down. I really should have probably stamped my sentiment first, but that's okay. So I would I would instruct you guys to stamp your sentiment first on here and then put it down, but we're good. Okay, so this is going to go right on top of here. And again, I've left a little bit thicker border. I don't know why I'm all of a sudden now I like a thicker border. Sometimes I trend with a thinner border, and now I'm doing like a thicker one. I don't know why. It's just what I feel like doing. Um, and any way that you want to do it is, it's not wrong, it's not right. It's just what my eye is enjoying right now, so I don't know. Okay, this is a piece of um, Early Espresso, and it's three and a half by three and three quarter. Okay, now you want the three and a half portion at the top. Okay, three and a half portion at the top. We're going to go ahead and put this down with Tombow. I know it's Thanksgiving Day. My family and I had Thanksgiving last weekend because both my girls have a birthday in November. So we did Thanksgiving and birthdays last weekend. And so tonight, my, uh, my one daughter's coming over for dinner. The other one had to work today, so she's at home resting. <laughs> okay, right there. So that's our base. Now, the best thing that I'm going to tell you to do with these little strips, and these little strips are three by one inch, okay? These little strips are just three by one inch. I find it best to work from the middle out, okay? So I... And I try not to stick anything down too permanently. I try to like split the difference here, okay? And leave a border at the top and the bottom. And, and you saw I didn't press, I don't press it, okay? And now this. I just dot my Tombow around it. It sticks. It's great mono, liquid mono adhesive. Okay, so let's see. That kind of came in on that a little bit. Okay, we can wiggle that. Now let's get this one on. And see, uh, so my suggestion with this is to work from the middle out. Anytime that you do anything um, like this. Also, as you can see, we work in three. If I wanted to do the card the other way, I might do five. Always work in an odd number. Okay, now I like this lineup, so I'm going to press everything into place. I like that. That came out very nice. Okay, now just to kind of almost like it's wrapped up like a present. <laughs> We're going to get this little gold glimmer paper is three and a half by one quarter. Okay, I'm going to cut all this for you guys. You just order $25 worth of product that's before shipping, handling, and taxes, and I'm going to send you these two card kits, and I'm going to cut everything for you. This is exactly what you're going to get. So I cut this at three and a half, okay, to fit on the 
across the early espresso on the bottom there, okay? Just like that, love that. Now, we're almost done, guys. Cherry cobbler, we're gonna bring in our stamp, spread some Christmas cheer from the tin of tags. You mix and match your stamps up. It doesn't, you know, just because it's from the tin of tags doesn't mean you just have to make tags out of it. Okay, and I'm going to come toward the bottom here. Okay. Straight down. And up. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Very, very, very festive. And it's a great way to use your DSP. I think that really sets it off. So, let's just go over this again. Look at how cute these cards are. I'm just so happy with these. I have a craft show coming up, so everything I make on camera is going to be for sale at the craft show. Um, it's December 10th, and it's in a local area here at a school. I got to tell you guys, my last craft show that I did two weeks ago, I totally sold out. I had 100% sellout. I was so happy. Um, I appreciated everyone coming by, and I had 100% sellout. That's never happened to me before. I really did appreciate that. So, um, like I said, every month now, for $25 in product that you order, you're going to get two card kits. This is the card kit for, we're going to say... Um, you know, the holiday season until the 24th of December, then I'll be back. Uh, probably I'm going to take a little break and I'll be back at the beginning of the year and we'll start this over again. And it'll be like for the month of January. So um, again, it's $25 is all in product before shipping, handling and taxes. You will receive these two card kits free. You need to incorporate, uh, you need to purchase your envelopes, your adhesive, and there are no stamped images included. Stampin' Up, that's a, that's a rule. Stampin' Up will not allow me to do that, okay? I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Thanks, my customers. I so appreciate you. Guys, I want to give back. My business is growing, and thank you, thank you so much for everything. Have a great crafting day. Go to stampinginthevalley.com and click on the big blue button. Don't forget to use the hostess code. That's how I know to send you these um, card kits. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great crafting day and happy Thanksgiving.